It is September 2nd. Um, yeah, school is just gonna start in a few days. It's actually technically move-in day for a lot of multi-year people here at UMass Amherst. And I am gonna be helping out with that later today because I'm an RA now. I'm an RA in Grayson, but Grayson and Field, they're just connected. They're like bridged together. Um, but yeah, they are technically two separate buildings. But yeah, so later today I have elevator duty and I'm not really excited about that. Uh, I have to be the person who tell people they can't use the elevator unless their floor is five and up, which I personally think it's annoying. I totally understand that people don't want to walk up four flights of stairs with their heavy stuff, but I didn't make up the rules here, so that is that. Getting with this video, I wanted to do a little room tour. So yeah, because I thought it'd be fun. I thought it'd be a great way to start out this channel again. Who knows when I'll be making the next video. It's just really when I feel like it, when I think I have the time, because I am going to be super busy this year. I'm an RA, I'm part of two clubs, I'm volunteering at a hospital, and I'm a part-time photographer. So as of now, every weekend of this month, I have to go home because I'm doing senior photo shoots and that's my extra side gig right there, my hustle, my extra additional money on top of my um, paychecks for being an RA. Let's get on with the actual room tour. So this is the main door entrance and on these two sides right here are your closets. But this is what the inside of the closet looks like. You get a little nice bar railing, get all these drawers with some underneath underneath little shelves where you can store stuff and you get a nice mirror with lights that go on and off and then also out here you get also separate lights that go on and off for the outside but also like just my extra storage stuff right here stuff that i um don't grab every day but still will be needing and then i have this little like mini extension shelf thing whatever you call it and i'm gonna be holding other stuff pretty empty right now but throughout the year I do tend to shop a lot so I collect a lot more clothes so I guarantee you this will be filled by the time I am out of here then on the other side I actually treat it like my closet where all my clothes are um, more storage stuff it's more like bedding and stuff like that um, that's laundry I need, <laughs> I need to um, fold I store all my shoes down here on both sides because I don't know I it's empty I have the space for it that's just how I do it. And of course, all of here is some additional clothes. I like to keep this side empty, but that's just kind of how I am as a person. I'm very much of a spacious, no clutter, clean kind of person because one thing that drives me nuts is when things are cluttered. So now coming out of the closets, you have this main area and typically there are two beds on each side. But again, I'm an RA, I don't have two beds, I'm living by myself. Knowing that, um, I decided to bring my own little love sofa and it worked out great, it's cute. This is all stuff that I need to throw out. But here's my love sofa, then I have like little living room lamp. And because I've had so many photo shoots this summer, I decided to make a little art wall gallery of all my photo shoots. So all these photos I took throughout the summer and I'm so happy. Shout out to all the people who had photo shoots with me. This is kind of like my fridge area. Um, that's my like mostly snack drawer, but also I have some cleaning stuff down at the bottom. Um, yeah, just like kind of like my little food area, if you will. And then this is a really nice mini desk that you can pull out. I got this at HomeSense, I believe. And the nice part about it is that it unfolds to be a much bigger table and if i have people over or if i just want to chill on my couch i'll bring it over like that and now i have a table and a couch to sit on okay now let me show you my actual bed area so this is my bed um it is pretty high up right now and i did try lowering it but sometimes the beds are just like jammed and they're stuck so you really can't lower it and then you just have to settle with a high bed but I don't really mind, to be honest. But up here, I have some fairy lights going on. Let me actually turn them on. So that is what they look like. Um, on my camera, they look like they're twitching, but they're not. They're just... brought some, like, stuffed animals. Just, <laughs> I don't know, just to have at night. So this is actually something that they give all RAs, because technically, throughout the semester, we're going to have one-on-one meetings with our RDs, which is basically our bosses. So, 
Yeah, that was just in my room when I came here and I just thankfully it was small enough to shove under my bed so it's not really in the way. I wish they had told us about it because I can definitely see how people plan and they don't anticipate having this big chair here. But I ended up being fine. So if it's under my bed, whatever, no problem. But going back, I have these two, I have these four storage bins that are relatively shallow but super long in the back and I just store it underneath my bed and I have even more clothes down there but my bottom two are actually empty so I don't know if they're ever going to fill up or not but they're just there as storage that's my ottoman to help me get on and off my bed and then back here I have jugs of water because that's what I use to drink and to fill up my coffee machine and stuff like that I do I do need to go out and get more water though because it runs out relatively quickly so probably going to do that by um either today or tomorrow. And if you're wondering what this bag is, that's just a bag full of snacks for my residents because as my job throughout the semester, I have to have one-on-one -on -one conversations with all my residents, just check in, see how they're doing. And of course, college students love food. So that's just kind of how you get them to stay talking to you and you just give them a treat. Um, really funny but yes as college students we're very food motivated so that's our little key to keep our residents in tune with our conversations so far this is like one half of the room with the underneath the couch right there and then this is where I put my body mirror this year I decide to actually get a good mirror one that's not warped because I don't like warped mirror. I don't like my body to be perceived differently than how it is in reality. Like I don't like to be made super skinny or like wider than I actually am. So I actually decided to get a good quality mirror. So backing up now, this is the whole main desk area. So every room comes with these floating shelves. Um, typically how, and this is just one long table that sticks out you can't move it or anything it's built in and typically when two people are here you know this is one half for one person and this is the other half for the other person and then same thing with a shelf typically that's just how it works you split it up so over here this is my little coffee station i, t I usually have a mug here too but i need to wash it so i'm not showing it and then this is where i put my jug of water that I'm using and I use that to fill up here or if anyone just wants water in general I'll just pour it from there. I have a lucky plant and this is where I hold miscellaneous papers because sometimes professors still give out papers even though that's a little outdated and regardless of how big the class is they would rather print out 320 pages instead of just doing it electronically so I don't know but yeah that's where I put all my miscellaneous stuff. This is, this is just additional storage stuff that I don't want laying on my desk. Speaker, a few books, a little pot that holds jewelry, and then some pictures, Lego flowers, my coloring books, this is my marker, pen, etc. More coloring pencils. Up here is a craft box that they actually give all RAs and that's because we have to decorate a bulletin board so they provide the supplies for us. And then my tape, stapler. Actually, these, this is a whole pack of condoms that I need to staple to my bulletin board because as an RA, it's also part of our duty to promote safe sex. So we just leave it out on our door, but typically some, some people just take the whole thing of condoms, which is fine, have safe sex, but like, you know, once you put them out there, they're gone the next day, so. More frames, tissues. You're not supposed to have a candle, but you know. <laughs> Over here on this side is where I'm actually going to be doing my work. So I have my laptop, that's the mug that needs to be cleaned, my second monitor, all of that stuff. But that is kind of it for my dorm. I know I kind of rushed through things very quickly. From my perspective, my room seems a lot bigger because I'm the only person living here, but I have been in the rooms that do have two beds, like when two people live in it. So it's definitely a lot smaller. So of course, if you're living in a double here with another person, I would just advise to pack accordingly. And I, there's like, there's just not a lot of space for you to bring big stuff besides like your fridge and maybe stuff that can be stored under the bed. 
But besides that, if you can't store it under your bed, then it is kind of hard to place things, especially with the shelves and the desk and the way this whole room layout is with the beds and everything in the closets. You don't get a lot of flexibility to rearrange your room. Like you just have to accept it how it is. That's just my advice. Probably bring little, bring less than than what you feel, I'd say. Cause I would personally rather bring less and have more space than bring more and not know what to do with the stuff that doesn't fit. Because another thing is if you see something like a piece of furniture or whatever that you don't want in your room that came in your room, it's a hassle to have to get it out because technically you have to keep all furniture that's in there in um, and they don't really want you to get rid of the furniture otherwise you're fined and you're held responsible for it. It's a lot of money and you don't want to be paying that. But if the furniture that um, your room comes with is totally like not functioning, like maybe it's stained, broken, whatever, contact eye service or contact res life and tell them about it and they will take care of it and probably have it removed because that's what I had to do with my room actually because my room actually already came with a couch which I was not informed about again something I wish they had told me about but it was just like not it like I wasn't going to keep it it was so big and bulky it took up half my it was equivalent to having another bed and I didn't even really like that couch it was ugly personally and it had a stain so I was like I'm not keeping that contacted res life and they're like yep we got you we're gonna find a place for it you can keep your personal couch because that was a whole nother thing but that's beyond the point um yeah but I'll do one more full circle of my room so you guys can see and that will wrap up this video I forgot to mention that you get all this space underneath your desk so if you want to bring like a mini drawer or whatnot um feel free to do that you can definitely store things under here so I forgot to mention that that's the majority of O'Hill again if you're living in either Grayson, Field, Webster, or Dickinson, all your rooms are going to look like this, especially if you're in a double, you're going to have two beds. So also just remember I'm an RA. I'm not living with anyone. But yeah, that's that's basically it. Guys are ever interested in being an RA or what it's like, is it worth it or whatnot, I can definitely make a separate video about that because I feel like I can talk about that a lot. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.